Hello, I'm Amber Youper. Welcome to my messy greenhouse, eh? As you can see, well, you probably can't see it very well. I'll show you with the camera in a minute. But uh, I'm out here uh, to uh, unbox something I just got from one of the uh, garden supply companies. Uh, a company called Young Seeds or Jung Seeds, whichever way you choose to pronounce it. Um, I ordered some more uh, tomato craters because uh, the ones I ordered last year were uh, quite helpful for my tomatoes, it seemed like. I really liked the way they worked, the way they uh, protect the base of the tomato plant and all that good stuff, so I ordered some more. They're not cheap, but uh, they seem to be worth having. So, first let me give you a, a look at my uh, messy greenhouse. Uh, go over here and do the camera. So here's the pots that I uh, grow my tomato plants in. You can probably see they're all bare, of course, because uh, it's too uh, early in the season to put anything out here yet. But there they are. I uh, have four more pots that are not in here right now because of the winter pond for my goldfish which is that tank that you're hearing the trickling sounds over on the far end there so let's take a look at that just because oh and there's the uh, denizen of the yard and greenhouse mrs shiitake she's my uh, supervisor cat if you know what i mean so here's my pond, a winter pond, and you probably can't see it there. Yeah, okay, there we go. Yeah, it's pretty hard to see that because of the way the light is. But that's what I keep the goldfish in over the winter. I'm thinking I need to clean the uh, filter on the pump because the uh, water flow is kind of reduced here. And I have an LJ killer hooked up to the water pump to uh, kill the algae in the water and if you let that uh, water flow get too low then the uh, algae killer bulb gets too hot and it'll burn out so I gotta do that pretty soon but anyway so let's take a look at the box that I got so that's the box I got from Young Seed Company and uh, they have an online presence as well as uh, a catalog so let's take a look at what's in the box. Get it open here. Yeah, I know, cat. You wanna, you wanna see what's in the box too, huh? You want the box? That's all. You know. Are you gonna help me open it? Hmm? Are you? All right. Here we go. Oh, they give me a couple of extra packages of seeds. A couple of freebies. Well, let's see here. These two right here came free with it. Calendula and this weird looking pale green cucumber, which ought to be interesting. I have to try those, see what happens. Thanks for that, young seeds. And there's my slip, packing slip. So, these are the tomato craters. And as you can see, you got the label in them. And that's how they look when they come. They're uh, packed in plastic. I also ordered some more uh, uh, plant labels handy to have when you're uh, planting seeds. And it's nice to know what kind of seeds they are, especially when you're planting uh, multiple types of tomato plants and you have no idea what they are because you didn't tag them. Anyway, so this is one of my tomato craters from last year. As you can see, they're, they're used. But there are two pieces like this and they hook together basically if I can get this to work. 
<laughs> anyway, they hook together like that. They're probably a little warped from having been used and whatnot. There we go. But anyway, there. What you do is you uh, you put them around the base of the plant and then you hook them together and then they they cover the base of the of the plant, keeps the cutworms away from the from the uh, stem of the plant and it also um, blocks most of the weed growth. I mean the only way place the weeds could come through is these little slots here and those slots are um, for your tomato cages so you can put the tomato cage over the plant. So these work really well. I mean you can dump your water right in there and the water goes through the slots and into the ground. Kind of prevents some of the evaporation around the uh, base of the roots of the plant also. So we'll take one of these. I think you can see that. I should tip the camera just slightly more. Okay. And we'll just open one of these. So here is the tag. Got all the instructions on it. And the back side of the tag. <coughs> Allergy season. So anyway, so here's a new one. And they come apart like that and they go together like that so like I said with the other ones the used ones same thing so now I have uh, what do I got they come in packages of three I ordered two packages last year they're 24 25 dollars a piece and then shipping Come in packages of three. So I had six last year, and I decided to order another two packages this year. So now I have a dozen of them to put around tomato plants, and uh, that's probably not as many as I need, but uh, it'll do for my outdoor plants. I don't really need them in the greenhouse because that's a different uh, environment and situation, but for my outside um, tomatoes. And from what I understand, these also work well with uh, peppers and other uh, plants like that also. So. so that's what I wanted to show you. Thanks for watching.